Are you interested in introducing some jazz into your guitar playing? If so, this lesson is a great place to start. Seven. Hey everyone, Mark here from 8 Minute Axe, and today I am going to cover the five most common seventh chords used in music, especially in jazz. So I'm going to teach you how to play them both in the sixth string and fifth string root positions. The chords I'm going to cover are going to be the major seventh chord, the seventh chord or dominant seventh, the uh, minor seventh, the minor seven flat five, also called the half diminished chord and the diminished chord. And again, we're going to learn them in both sixth string and fifth string root positions. What we're going to do is I'm going to teach you the chords in uh, the A position for the sixth string root and the D position for the fifth string root. It's just a nice place in the middle of the fretboard, a little easier to fret the chords and easy to see what I'm doing. So let's jump right into it. So the first chord is going to be the A major seven chord. And the A major seven chord looks and sounds like this. Okay, very indicative of a lot of 70s music. Okay, and the way we play that, we're gonna take our first finger, fifth fret, sixth string. Our second finger, fifth fret, second string. Our third finger, sixth fret, fourth string. And our pinky, sixth fret, third string, and we're not going to play the fifth string. The easiest way to mute it with this chord is just to kind of lag your finger over it and mute it with your first finger. And we're not going to play the first string either. And I'm actually picking with my fingers. I'm using my thumb to play the sixth string, and I'm using the my uh, index finger to play the fourth string, my ring finger, or I'm sorry, my middle finger to play the third string, and my ring finger to play the uh, second string. And I'm just plucking them all together like this. Okay, A major 7. The next chord is going to be the A7 or dominant 7 chord. And again, we're going to start with our first finger on the 5th fret, 6th string. That's our A note. We're going to take our 2nd finger, 5th fret, 4th string. Our 3rd finger, 2nd fret, I'm sorry, 5th fret, 2nd string. And our pinky on the 6th fret, 3rd string. And again, we're going to play six, four, three, and two with the same uh, plucking pattern here with our right hand. A dominant seven, A seven, same chord. Okay, next is going to be our minor seven chord. Um, a little bit different. We're going to take our second finger and we're going to put it again on the A note on the fifth fret, sixth string. And then we're going to take our third finger and we're going to bar it over the fourth third and second strings on the fifth fret. And again, we're going to play six, four, three, and two, and we're going to mute the uh, fifth string and the first string. Easy to mute it here. You can use your second finger to mute the fifth string, and you can use your third finger as it's barring the other three strings to mute that first string. And this is a minor seventh chord, A minor seven. Okay, moving on. The next chord is going to be our A minor 7 flat 5 chord or our A half diminished chord. Second finger, 6th string, 5th fret. We're going to take our first finger and put it on the 4th fret 2nd string. We're going to take our 3rd finger and put it on the 5th fret 4th string. And we're going to put our pinky on the 5th fret 3rd string. So you can see we're making that A minor shape below the root note there. So, and that's going to be an A minor 7 flat 5 or an A half diminished chord. And again, we're going to play four strings. Now you can strum these chords too if you want. You just have to make sure that you're muting the fifth and first string. You can use a pick as well if you'd like. Okay, and the next chord is going to be the diminished chord, full diminished chord. And we're going to take our second finger, fifth fret, sixth string. Again, I think every... Um, Every chord started with that note. That's the root note, the A. We're going to take our first finger and we're going to bar it over the 
fourth, third, and second strings on the fourth fret. And we're going to take our third finger and going to put it on the fifth fret, third string. And again, we're going to play four strings, uh, A diminished, A diminished seventh. Okay, so I'll review them one more time. I'll go through them quickly. We've got our A major seven, our A seven, A minor seven, A minor seven flat five, and A diminished seven. Okay, and that's it for the six string root chords. Now there are extensions of these. Typically, these are the most common chords in jazz. Most of the other chords are either inversions of these chords, meaning that we start with a different note besides the root note and the bass, or they're, um, they have extensions on them, meaning we add additional notes beyond the notes that comprise these particular chords. So now we're going to do our fifth string root chords, the same chords, only starting with the fifth string root, and we're going to stay here in the fifth position, and they're going to be, uh, they're going to be D root chords, and our D note is our... Uh, fifth fret, fifth string. So the first chord is going to be the D major seven chord, and we're going to play that by taking our first finger and putting it on the fifth fret, fifth string. We're going to take our first finger and put it on the sixth fret, third string, our third finger on the seventh fret, fourth string, and our pinky on the seventh fret, third, uh, second string. And this time we're going to be playing five, four, three, and two. And if you're playing with your fingers, you can use your thumb to play the fifth string, and you can use your ring finger, I'm sorry, you can use your index finger, your middle finger, and your ring finger to play four, three, two accordingly. And we're not gonna play six, and we're not gonna play one. Okay, D major seven chord. Now to make the D seven chord, or D dominant seven chord, all we're gonna do is take our first finger, and we're gonna lift it up, and so we're gonna be sounding that that note on the uh, third string, fifth fret. So that's the major seven, just lift that finger up, and we've got our dominant seven or seven chord, D dominant seven. Okay, so next is gonna be our D minor seventh chord, and we'll start by barring our first finger over the fifth, fourth, third, and second strings on the fifth fret. We're going to take our second finger and we're going to put it on the sixth fret, second string. And we're going to take our third finger and we're going to put it on the seventh fret, fourth string. And that's our minor seventh chord. And again, we're playing four strings. Okay. Next is going to be our D half diminished or D minor seven flat five chord. So we're going to start with our first finger on the fifth fret, fifth string, our second finger on the fifth fret, third string, our third finger on the sixth fret, fourth string, and our pinky on the sixth fret, um, second string. So it looks like this. Okay, that one might be a little more challenging. You can also play it by barring your fingers over the, um, the four notes on the fifth fret and then taking your second finger and putting it on the uh, sixth fret fourth string and your third finger on the sixth fret second string. Some people play it like that. So whatever's more comfortable for you, you probably should get used to playing it both ways. It's always good to have multiple options when you're playing chords. Okay, the next chord, the last one here today, is going to be the D diminished 7 chord. So we're going to take our second finger and put it on the D again on the 5th fret of the 5th string. We're going to take our first finger and put it on the 4th fret 3rd string. We're going to take our 3rd finger, 6th fret, 4th string, and our pinky on the 6th fret 2nd string. That's going to be our diminished. So let me review the fifth string root chords one more time. We've got the major seven. We've got the seven. We've got the minor seven. We've got the minor seven flat five. And we've got the diminished seven. 
Okay, that's all for now. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will get back to you. And please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to make a lot of lessons like this that are intro lessons for people that want to learn some jazz. And have a great day.